geometric series are actually quite similar to geometric sequences, kind of like the similarities between arithmetic sequences and series, except with a series we're adding all the terms together instead of just listing them out. So what we'll be asked to do is to find the sum. To do that, we have a formula, so we'll list out the variables. We know from looking at the series that T1 should be 4. We can find what R is to go from 4 to 12 to 36. We multiply by 3 each time. N is given in the text part of the question. That's 10. And SN is what we're trying to find. So now if we actually go to the formula... Before we go and start doing the math on this, it's important to notice there's a slight difference between this formula and the geometric sequence formula. Both of them have r to the n minus 1, except they are different. In the sequence formula, the previous formula, n minus 1 was the exponent. In the series formula, we have r to the n, and then from that result, we subtract 1. So it's just imperative that we know the difference and we know how to deal with that mathematically. So we take and we fill in what we know. First step, following order of operations, we should do 3 to the 10th. It's 59,049. We can do 3 minus 1 on the bottom here, that's 2. Next step, we can do 59,049 minus 1. 59,048 we get. And to finish this off, we can do this all in one step on the calculator. We get 118,096.